What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with the best films of 2013. Before I get into this list, I got some honorable mentions and I'm going to start that list off with Elysium. I really enjoyed this gritty film, but it was such an awesome story that was told in a sci-fi futuristic way. You know, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Really good movie. Matt Damon did a phenomenal job in the role that he had. Really cool movie to watch really enjoyable film so yeah next film getaway a movie everybody hated but for some odd reason i love the chases i love the getting away from the cops i like ethan hogg in the movie he was pretty cool i hated selena gomez she was the biggest crap in the movie but you know whatever world war z man this movie was awesome brad pitt in a zombie movie i was like wow this has to be epic and yes it was they're gonna make a sequel for it can't wait to watch that as well can't wait to watch that wow i'm gonna leave that in there so you guys can get a good laugh next movie two guns denzel washington and mark Wahlberg. i really enjoyed their chemistry aside from a lot of people saying that you know it wasn't good and the story was stupid you know, it's not a Denzel Washington, you know, thick soup story, but it was this all-out action, you know, enjoyable story. And that's what I really liked. White House Down, caught me by surprise. A lot of people said, oh my god, you know, Olympus Has Fallen was way better, da 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 I enjoyed Olympus Has Fallen, it was kind of boring, well, da da But Channing Tatum uh, and Jamie Foxx were funny together, and his action scenes reminded me a lot of the earlier Die Hard films that was just some crazy shit going down and overcoming all the odds. Thought that was pretty cool. Side effects, this was a thriller that had Jude Law, uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones, um, the girl from, uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo, I forgot her name, Rooney Mara, I think her name is, really good thriller, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out, let me know down below what you guys thought about it, I saw it on Netflix, really enjoyed it, a sequel that should have been made as soon as the other one ended, it's kick-ass, I really loved the first one, was dying to get a sequel, finally came out, and really, really enjoyed it, I thought it was almost as good as the first one almost as good as the first one i don't know what the hell that was but yeah on to the last film on my honorable mentions i gotta put a chick flick there simply because you just have to there's always that one good chick flick and for me this year it was safe haven really enjoyed the story really enjoyed the film overall and i watched it multiple times so i just had to put it on my honorable mention now let's get into the top 10 list that's what you guys are here for we're the millers at number 10 the only comedy I have on my list. I think this is the best comedy of the year, hands down. I haven't seen the internship and I haven't seen all the films, but for me, this is the best comedy of the year. Number nine, Pacific Rim. Wow. I just love that big robotic Transformers feel, that epicness going into like this dinosaur type fight. It was awesome. Awesome film. The way the 3D was shot. I saw it in IMAX 3D with my boy David and Brian. We all enjoyed it. Ah awesome movie number eight the call wow i was intense my hands were sweating i was all into the movie i just didn't know what the hell was gonna happen and usually when a movie uh does something where i can't predict what's gonna happen it's when i enjoy it the most so i had to put it on my top 10 list because i didn't think it was gonna be as good as it was and i ended up really really liking it number eight for my top 10 number seven the wolverine the 3d wasn't as good as it should have been because it wasn't in 3d but Hugh Jackman was phenomenal as Wolverine again. I really enjoyed the story. Wolverine vulnerable, overcoming the odds, and becoming Wolverine. Ah, that was awesome. Number six, Iron Man 3. Full of action. Had too much comedy for my taste. But we now know how important Tony Stark is. How awesome he is without the Iron Man suit. Yes, we needed to see that. Number five, Star Trek Into Darkness. Wow, what a sequel. This movie was awesome. Never slowed down. Really enjoyed it from beginning to end. The 3D was phenomenal. J.J. Abrams, can't wait to see the third one. Can't wait to see Star Wars. You did a great job, bro. Number four, Now You See Me. Jesse Eisenberg, Morgan Freeman, Woody Harrison, James Franco's brother. Awesome cast from top to bottom. Thought it was a good movie, really enjoyed it, loved the little twist that it had, loved the fact that it was like on the surface this magic movie, but at the same time it just became a heist movie. I really, really liked that about Now You See Me. Caught me off guard at times, really ended up enjoying it. Number three, strictly here for the action, but very enjoyable action, over the top action, Fast and Furious 6, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Tyrese Gibson, the list goes on and on and on. Very enjoyable movie. It made my top 10 list because it was one of the biggest movies of the year that I just really, really enjoyed every time I watched it. Number two, 
wow, a lot of people hated this. They didn't do good in the box office. I don't know why people didn't get it. This is the director from Tron. He did Oblivion, stars Tom Cruise. I thought that movie was awesome. I've seen it multiple times, and I just really enjoy the story. I love the dramatic feel to it towards the end. I really like how things fall into place and how... I just liked it. That's it. I'm not going to explain myself. I just liked it. That's it. Let me know why you guys hated it. If you hated it, please let me know. I want to know because I want to talk about this movie. Number one is Man of Steel. This movie was action packed with a quick pace to the storytelling. That's probably the negative downfall of it that the origin story should be slow and told in the right way. But this one was told fast paced. I took it for what it was and still ended up loving the film simply because Henry Cavill is definitely the Superman that I wanted to see. This tough guy that, you know, is really hard to overcome. General Zod came close maybe for a split second, but Henry Cavill as uh, Clark Kent looks promising. And Henry Cavill as the Man of Steel was awesome. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below which movies you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I didn't mention some of the movies like Great Gatsby, Wolf of Wall Street, um, Out of the Furnace, American Hustle. Movies like that. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to be watching them soon. But unfortunately, they're, you know I didn't watch them in time to make this list. So yeah, YouTube. Lex Express checking in checking out with the top 10 2013 films. Peace out.